Alrighty then, let's get started, shall we? So this week I started watching Great British Bake Off and I started reading A Game of Thrones. Two new addictions in one week, that's really unhealthy. I can just see a doctor wagging his finger at me in a terribly British way. Ooh. I've also become best friends with one of our house cats, Mel. Like seriously, she comes into my room and sleeps on my bed at any time of day. It's actually in here now. Let's see her over there. Look at the world. Mel, you're so wave. Uh, she can't do that, she's a cat. You love the camera, don't you, Mel? Meow. Meow. She's always meowing and she never, never does on camera. Honestly, she's just a bit shy for the lens. <sighs> Mel, what you like? Meow, 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 meow. Seriously, I'm half hoping that the housemate has to give her up for some reason because they'll have to take her home and life will just be perfect. Now, when you get into the routine of doing the nine to five, you begin to appreciate just how important weekends are. Like two whole days off? Good Lord, that's so much freedom. Now I know what you're thinking. I've had weekends all my life. I've always appreciated the glory of Saturday and Sunday, of getting up and being like, I haven't got to go to do something. I can just lie in bed for, for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, even half an hour. What will I do with my time? But the thing is, at university, my degree was really flexible in terms of how many hours I put in and when I did them. So weekends and weekdays just began to blur into one. At one point in third year, I only had two working days a week and they were both next to each other. That was all the contact hours that I had. So my weekend became my weekday. Now, back before I signed up to do my internship at Amazing Radio, which is still going really swimmingly, by the way, me and my family decided it would be a great idea to go to the Lake District for a holiday. Now, obviously, radio internships trump holidays because, you know, life-changing opportunities, you kind of need to go for those. But I thought it'd still be silly not to go for at least the weekend to have a bit of fun away with the family, you know, somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere relaxing. I took the train down from Newcastle to Wind which you might think is a bit of a pain because it was like what three hours long and there were several changes in between but I'm one of those people that actually quite enjoys train journeys you know as, as, as long as I've got something to do on the train and I've also learned the key commuter skill of reading a book anywhere in any position so long journeys got them sorted must read more winter is coming the first night we got there we just chilled in this little cottage that we got rented out but on the saturday morning we attempted one of the most epic walks of our lives it would require all of our determination all of our stamina and once we started there was no going back well i did go back once actually because it started raining and i forgot my mac but apart from that it was truly epic Okay, okay, it was one of the easier walks in the manual, about four miles, and I, when I first saw it, I was like, four miles, that's easy. But seriously, I got halfway through and I thought my legs would never work again. It didn't help that as we got higher and higher into the hills, this really thick mist began to form, and soon we were just enveloped by it. So, you know, at first you start walking, you've got lovely views, you're like, yeah, this is worth it. But after a while, you can't see anything. So when we got to this reservoir that we were aiming for, it was just like, Oh, we come all this way for nothing. Yeah, it's typical. But aside from that, we did see some breathtaking scenery. And when you get home knowing that you've done the walk, it is a really nice feeling. Sunday was spent going around seeing various places associated with Beatrix Potter. She's quite tied into the whole Lake District area. Well, not physically tied in, but you know what I mean. It's just a metaphor. For those of you who don't know, Beatrix Potter is the quintessential children's writer. She was around at the start of the 20th century. And my like preschool and primary school years were chock full of her books. And going around her old house and her husband's office where there's a big gallery of all her work, you know, it was really interesting seeing how she would have lived back then. It made me just want to give up everything, move to the countryside and take up writing full time. I reckon I actually will do that one day, it'd be lovely. Although, having said that, the lack of Wi-Fi and internet it drove me crazy. And it was only for two days. Then it was back to Newcastle for another working week. Although, I've been doing so much fun stuff I can't really complain. It's weird that it's taken this long for me to fully appreciate the value of weekends. For the first time in my life, I was truly getting that dreaded Monday feeling. But on the plus side, I also get the Friday feeling too. Result! And that's pretty much it for me for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you really did enjoy it, please, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Also like this video and if you've got anything in response, then also leave a comment. Other than that, I'll see you soon. So, in my last vlog, I said that this is not my new room, even though it kind of is. And that I'm now in Newcastle rather than in Liverpool. Oh, mysterious.